Sabi nila, one of the sweetest mango dao can be found in the Philippines, in the island of Guimaras to be exact. And being one of my favorite food, di natin dapat palampasin na matikman ito. I have been to Iloilo or Bacolod many times already. But Guimaras? Well, it's going to be my first time. Kaya tara, samahan niyo ako as we explore the mango capital of the Philippines, ang Guimaras. But before your trip, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on this video. We arrive in Guimaras Island a few days after the Mango Festival, which is a good thing, especially if you don't want a lot of crowd touring around and of course, if you are planning to buy mangoes at a lower price. From Iloilo, our friends from Southwest Travel and Tours fetch us from the hotel, going to Parola Ranch. Hello, Southwest, salamat. Before entering, you can get ferry tickets of your choice and trans. And just go straight to Ferry Boat. MD Jordan, so we're heading to Gimnas, guys. 30 pesos. Ah, dun pala sa, ayun pala sa dulo. Ito, so we need to wait for others to go in. Ticket price is at 30 pesos. Welcome to Jordan. I am Jordan Gimaras. It took us only 50 to 20 minutes to reach Jordan Rath in Gimaras. From here, we met up with our trike service, Kuya Ivan, who will be our guide slash service for today. is to do a land tour plus island hopping. So hopefully we could finish the land tour by lunch para we have enough time to tour around the islands. We contracted Kuya Ivan for 1,500 pesos for the whole day service plus additional 200 pesos for the waiting time while we are doing the island hopping. And he already prepared our destination for today. I think this is the more convenient way of touring Gimaras. Besides, of course, renting a car. For doing a DIY could incur more expenses and medyo mahirap din pumara ng mga sasakyan dito sa area. First destination is to take a photo at the Jordan signage which is the capital of this island. Hi guys, just a few minutes away from uh, Jordan Municipality na makikita na natin ang <laughs> Just a few kilometers away, you'll find the smallest plaza in the Philippines. This plaza is no more than 300 square meters, with a statue of our national hero, Jose Rizal, in the center. Moving west of the island, we visited the famous San Lorenzo Wind Farm. Hi guys, so we're here the Gimaras Wind Turbines. The 54 megawatt San Lorenzo Wind Farm is the first of its kind in the Visayas region and it stretches up to 14 kilometers, making it one of the biggest wind farms in Southeast Asia. So there are 27 wind turbines. <laughs> to what I've learned, this private property is actually distributing renewable energy in the main island of Iloilo, Western Visayas, Negros, and Cebu. Moving on to our next destination, we visited Guimaras Man-Made Forest. Located along the Guimaras Circumferential Road, the man-made forest is mainly consists of mahogany trees. Nothing so special naman in this place and you can actually skip it. But if you enjoy hanging out in the forest or discovering interesting insects and amphibians, this is one of the best places to visit. So 
guys, we are having the famous mango pizza partnered with mango juice and a mango shirt. Huh? <laughs> Hawaiian. Some of you will enjoy this. Medyo subtle yung mango flavor. Total bill natin guys is 879. That's 480 and 399. So yung mango pizza nila yun yung pinili namin. Tapos, meron silang mango spaghetti. Sinigang sa mangga. Gimaras Capital. Ayan ang Gimaras signage. And kasi pumunta kami dito a week after uh, the Manggahan Festival. So yung mga nagtitinda ng mangga, nandito na. Di, nandito pa. And the good thing about going here after the festival, mas mura na yung mangga. <laughs> Before heading down south, we stop by at the giant Gimaras signage near the provincial capital of Gimaras Island. Here, we were able to still find the Mango Fair from the recently concluded Mango Festival. Pabalikan natin to mamaya to shop for mangoes before we head home. Moving down south, we drop by at the Trapis Monastery. Of course, to buy authentic Gimaras Non Pasalubong, like several food varieties of mango, keychains, and of course, prep magnets, and a lot more. Pagkatapos ito, dumiretso naman kami sa Goosey Lighthouse. Dito, kinakailangan mong magbayad ng 20 pesos per head for the entrance. This lighthouse may be small, pero it is considered as the second oldest lighthouse ever built in the Philippines after Cape Engaño Lighthouse in Palawi Island, Cagayan, during the colonization of Spanish invaders almost 400 years ago. Ito raw yung parang, yan yung bagong lighthouse. Hello! 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 Hi! Before heading back, try nyo ding bumaba sa shore to take photos at the coconut tree or at the stones in the area. Our land tour ends at Alibohod Beach. I see you. Let's go! Pinapili pa kami ni Kuya Ivan saan namin gustong magstay or magbook ng island hopping. We decided to check out Rayman uh, Beach Resort. For the island hopping. Hindi naman, 1 to 10 siya. So, makishare tayo kala ate para. Yun na nga lang, sa inyo. Depende sa inyo. Kerian. So, unfortunately guys, maalon daw today. Tapos yun na nga, dahil maalon yung dagat today, dalawa lang yung location na mapupuntahan. Ito yung Alibuhod Beach, guys. There are supposedly six islands or destinations the whole island tour can cover. This includes Ave Maria, Ferry Castle, Lamurawan, Baras Cave, and Natago Beach Resort. The island tour costs 900 pesos for an hour, with additional 400 pesos for the succeeding hour. One boat can accommodate 1 to 10 packs, hence bringing more friends on the trip can lessen your expenses. Nandito na tayo sa Ave Maria. Grabe yung, ano, yung ride natin for today. Ibang klase. <laughs> Sakto may halo-halo si nanay. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, dahil sobrang lakas ng halo. Uh, mukhang ito na lang magpupunta natin for today. Yung iba kasi is may, ano, may bayad. Yung isa doon, 150 yung bayad. So parang hindi siya sulit for me. Unfortunately, dahil may bagyo, our tour guide recommended us to just visit the Ave Maria Island. Dito na namin in-spend ang aming whole hour. Hello. It's 2 o'clock and nandito lang kami sa sandbar. Picture picture lang yung mga kasama namin doon. So actually, feeling ko yun lang din yung gagawin natin for today. But I really love that one. Really nice. So, that was very quick. Kailangan natin kumalik. As much as 
because I wanted to show you all the islands in Guimaras, unfortunately, the storm hindered us to do it. So maybe on my next trip, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano itsura nito. And dahil hindi kami nakaligo dun sa, sa island, dahil sobrang nakakatakot. Dito na lang tayo maligo. heading back sa hotel. At around 3 p.m., we are already done and decided to go back early sa main island. Pero syempre, we would not miss to bring mangoes back in Manila. Kaya shopping muna tayo. Magkano isang kilo po? Mango prices vary depending on the size. From 250 to 300 pesos during the mango festival, we were able to get a kilo for only 180 pesos. Are you steady, ba? Ano? Yung pwede nang makain ng mga two days, three days, two days. I'm bringing two kilos home while Rod brought three kilos. Cautious din kami kasi syempre, bawal mag-over baggage. Kaya kaya namin mag-i-pulio kong sana. After shopping, we went back at the ferry. Thank you. Paid Kuya Ivan and went straight back home at our hotel in Iloilo. Marami ang nagsasabi na to really enjoy Gimaras, you would need to spend two days in the island. One day for the land tour and another for the island tour. Pero if budget constrained and would not want to rent a separate hotel accommodation in the island, you can simply compress everything in a day. Just like what we did. Especially if visiting Guimaras would only be a side trip when you are in Iloilo. Let me know in the comment section down below which destinations we covered you enjoyed the most or there are other destinations we should not miss on our next visit here in Guimaras. Till our next trip, this is Nog Nog in the City, signing off. Hasta pronto! Oh, 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 oh,